The school district is $5 million in the hole, and tonight, major cuts were on the table. Local students walk out of class to protest the elimination of teaching positions. Students, parents, and teachers all in opposition to cuts and 15 proposed layoffs. Announcing they are working to cut $2 million from their budget, and they are fighting the layoffs of two art teachers. The district is getting rid of two art teachers. And the elementary school music program done away with uh, at the end of this year. You know, I started the company, my son was two. My daughter was really like, she was four, you know, four and a half. So you think of that, and you know, have half custody, these, these precious, most amazing gifts in the world are your children. And then you have your company, which is your art, it's your baby, it's your, it's your, it's your masterpiece, it's your company. And you have these two things going on at the same time. You're raising two young children, and then you're raising a young company. And you have so much heart and passion for this, this quest to like get out this message, this radness, you know, and trying to like raise both these families, a company and the kids at the same time. And not having money, but, but having a passion, you know, for something stronger and, and, you know, just this belief that, you know, you could do good. My mission statement is to create change in society uh, through our Save the Arts program. Having companies and adults um, do creativity and then buy every hat that we create, we give back to kids that don't have art. The, the name Uncle um, for me was really symbolic because of like the Maori culture and uh, the Samoan culture and the Hawaiian culture. Uh, the uncle is really symbolic in the family. He's the coach. He's not your dad. He's, he's you know, he's not, he's not your brother. He's like, he's in between both those. And his whole mission is to go into the human story and bring out the story in civilization and the community. And I've always had this really strong mentor ship quality with uh, with with kids like usually like high school kids or, or junior high kids as a mentor and so uncle was really strong for me and then rad was like this ultimate cool word that came from the 50s and just really crossed uh, rad and uncle together and that's how we got rad uncle Hi, Daddy. Hi, honey. I love you. I love you too. Hi. How was your How was your day back to school? It was good. Yeah. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see your face. I love you. Good night. Okay. I love you, buddy. I love you. I love you. Bye. You can hang up now. Okay. All right. I love you, honey. Good night. Bye. Yeah, it's funny. Some some nights they're really talkative, and then some nights it's like, "Yo, Dad, I'm later." It's hard being a single dad because um, you put so much effort when you have them. The you know you half the time that you have them, and then when you don't have them, you're, they're still with you completely. But then you're um, you know you're living your life, and then uh, so you, you get used to it. But it's I don't know. You sometimes wish that you could have them all the time, you know, because then you could just see just them grow up completely. But you still do. It's just um, it's just part of part of how it is, you know. So yeah. Keep charging. I keep charging. Double shaka. <clears throat> So now what we're gonna do, guys, is. 
In the different rooms, we have hats. You guys are gonna pick. There's, there's like 25 different designs. You're gonna pick a hat. There's some pins here. There's pins in each of the rooms. There's this front room on the left. Hi, Nirvana. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> and then um, in the front room, there's more hats and pins. So you're gonna pick a hat, find a place, and I'm gonna go around. You can start to paint your hat. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna create your own walking billboard of radness. And again, for every hat that we're doing, so on next Friday, we're, uh, we're doing the same program at a, actually a continuation high school that's ran through the Boys and Girls Club. So um, I want to thank you so much, and I'm so stoked that you guys came and you made it. So Party With A Purpose is amazing. We, we get people, incredible people, and amazing companies, organizations, they host our Every Hat Has A Story party. And together we create um, these walking billboards of radness at the party. And for every hat that's created, we give back together um, our Every Hat Has a Story program to either a nonprofit, uh, a school, or a shelter um, that does our Every Hat Has a Story program. Tony did an event with me maybe about three, four months ago, and kids are still wearing these hats. Tony creates this moment, you know, with his team, with these kids that. It's so memorable. I've had a kid, when's the rad guy coming back? They don't know that. When's the rad guy? The rad dude, when's he coming back? Um, it's all about that imprint, man, that impact and that exposure to something different. Kids need to be exposed to the to the, to the the wider world. This is my first party with a purpose, uh, Save the Arts thing that Tony Milano has come up with. And I have heard a lot about these. Uh, people talk about how much they, they touch them, about how it really helps spark their creativity. And the whole idea of having a business plan where giving back is central to the plan. It's not something you do on the side. It's not something you do as an afterthought. But the whole point of the business is to in include people and involve people and make people's lives better. So we're here to, to help save the arts with Tony. I think it's so important and there's so few people who are stepping out of their lives to do stuff for others. And I feel like the best place is in the school because you're, you've got kids who are right and ready for that experience. Save the arts. Save the arts. Save the arts. Save the arts. Party with a purpose, save the arts. Party with a purpose. Boom. <laughs> you get exhausted, you know, it's like, you know, it's after the, the perseverance, you know, it's, it's like, it, it just, it takes, takes such a toll. And yeah, for sure, I've, I've, I've wanted to give up sometimes. This is so hard. It's hard to really go for something that's uh, very powerful, very simple, very subtle, and 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 profound. When you're you're really going after, um, you know, changing culture. I look at like doing this with no money, eating basically the gravel on the pavement for the last few years, trying to get this to life. You want to make a you want to make a living, but you want to make something in your life that is a quest that actually challenges and changes and creates and sustains and, and makes uh, an incredible story, not just for your own life, but for everyone's. You know, I have such a beautiful relationship with my children, but like, it, it's such a struggle, you know? So you have all these great things happening, but then you also have these, like this backstory, you know? And it's, you know, and I haven't dated in three years. You know, it's been a really tough, uh, several years, these last several years. So it's like you fight for these dreams and it's like it's a it's an incredible challenge. That's awesome. These are my little gooby loopies. I love hearing them snore. You know, I mean not they're not like loud, it's just that little that's so awesome. Um, you know, one of my big things with my kids is like giving them an opportunity of just being creative in their life and having that aperture. So it makes me like want to create that platform for the world and for kids. Look at that face. <laughs> That's so rad.
here with my kids, Bodie and Adler, and uh, we are gonna. Uh oh. Ow! 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 Um, we are gonna. <laughs> we're gonna do a rad adventure. We're about to see probably my favorite place in Los Angeles. I am so excited to share with you this little nugget of radness. You know why? Because there's so much roots. You can feel like the trees of like, like, I mean, it's not a tree, but literally you can feel the spirit of a city right here. Oh man, I mean, that shows the whole city. I come up here and then I just kind of like, I see the world because Los Angeles is, is you know, is, you know, essentially the media capital on the planet, you know? And I think with my whole thing with storytelling through the Save the Arts, through Ad Uncle, this is where it's all connected. Good morning, Westside. We have a special announcement from Uncle Rat this morning in, it pertains to the assembly that we'll be having here in about 15 minutes. Good morning! How you guys doing today? Yeah? Hey, you know what? First of all, I want to say thank you. And uh, second of all, today we brought our program called Every Hat Has a Story. And I just want to let you know that that's what's a, this is really a neat thing because we're all miracles. And this program was created to inspire, engage, and educate kids through creativity. And um, we're fired up. So all the people that you see with like rad shirts on, Please say hi to them. They're here to help you guys. And we are so fired up to bring this to you. And um, we're stoked. We're stoked. All right. Teachers, remember, please bring your classes now at 8.30 so that the students have a great time to decorate their house. We'll see you in about five minutes. Let's make it a great day here. Thanks, guys. I was a little nervous. Oh, Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> you got it, kids? <laughs> You guys ready? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, what's up, you guys? Say goodbye to the city. If you're old, you're young, there's one thing that you can always do when you're in a hard time. You can always be creative. I just can't shake this feeling. We brought 2,000 pins for 380 kids. We've learned already that that's not enough pins. We need more pins. So I'll be our effort. We're learning right now. We're in the middle. We're learning. To my old friends. Just don't see. This is our English teacher. And that's a rad hat. That's a rad hat. That's so awesome. Well, I thought it was awesome. Kids expressing their creativity, they don't get to do that enough in the classroom.